All right, YouTube, join me today as we attempt to do some off-grid laundry. All right, folks, what we got here, of course, is a uh, propane burner and my stew pot. Um, these are very common down here in the south, especially in South Carolina. On the coast, uh, frogmore stew, oysters, things like that. Um, so I have uh, a few different sizes of these. This is the smallest one I have. And uh, like I said, I got the water warming up. Got it hooked up to the tank. And uh, let's see if we can get some steam here. I don't know if you can see that, but we got water in there. And the plan is to uh, use that pot with warm water to do the laundry with. Small scale, of course, off grid. But uh, we're going to attempt to do it. All right. What I've got here is the actual strainer for the cook pot. What I did was I hooked up some PVC. Got a screw down here in the hole in the bottom. I didn't have to do any drilling, mess up my pot or anything. And I got it screwed on to some PVC. This piece right here hopefully will uh, act as an agitator, kind of move the clothes a little bit around. And then I've got a top right here. You see I got those cut off. And that hopefully will fit over that. Go down and now you can lift everything and twist it and turn it and everything should stay in place. That's the plan at least. Alright. Alright, so let's go get the water. Should be warm enough. Turn everything off. Right. A little hot put gloves on it's a little chilly down here in the south all right so what we're gonna do is put a little little uh, biodegradable made sure this is biodegradable I went out and looked for it it's hard to find around here but I did find it um, laundry detergent add that in there put that in there kind of move it around a little bit Let's go get some clothes. I've just got a few items here. Washcloth, old rag, some underdubs, a couple of t-shirts, and some socks. there and we're gonna attempt to wash some clothes so what you can do is uh, one of two things here you can just twist it and kind of mimic a washing machine or you can turn it whichever way you want keep turning it if you want do that for a little bit I'll kind of show you the action here. You see it moves it around pretty good. May have to readjust every now and then. 
Uh, like I said, you can just keep spinning it, or you can go back and forth. All right, so y'all get the idea. Now, what I'm gonna do is uh, do a little bit of rinse. This is the great thing about this setup is pull that. Let it drain. draining I'm going to dump this water all right so see there and what you could do is push down on these get a little bit more water out in there and we're going to pour some cold water in there do a rinse cycle out and we're gonna do it one more time make sure as an extraordinary oh, pour that on top make sure she's done really good all right so that's one little load of laundry <laughs> 